Okay, I think we're gonna get started. Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me here for another Mini Chef Morning this Wednesday morning. My name is Charlotte Scheid and I'm a nutritionist working in partnership with Giant. We have a real fun snack for you today that's called King of the Jungle. But before we get started, I wanna see if you can recognize this animal sound because it has to do with our snack today. Okay, does anybody recognize that animal sound? Well, if you guess lion, you are right. So our king of the jungle snack looks like a lion. So let me show you what, let me show you what it looks like. So in this snack today, it's delicious and it gives you energy. So there's um, three different types of fruit. We have bananas, blueberries, and a navel orange, as well as some kick cereal and slivered almonds. So we'll be making that um, in the second part of this class. But the first thing I want to do is to read you a story that has to do, or a lion is in the story, and it's called The Lion Inside. All right. All right, so here we go. The Lion Inside. In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold, stood a mighty flat rock, all preggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny full house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. Hello? He got trod on and sat on and missed out for stuff, ignored and forgotten. Yes, mouse life was tough. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. This huge, twosome creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could roar. He was head of the pack. He was shouty and tough. He loved showing the crowd he was made of strong stuff. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only thought mouse, I could be more like that. Then late one dark night in his mini mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He jumped from the covers and held up a paw. I've got it, he said, what I need is a roar. I mean, what if this mouse with the weeniest squeak was a little more grr and a little less meek? Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice but he make friends and join in and life would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse, I must find out how. I will learn how to roar and I will learn it now. But gulp, oh my gosh, there was only one beast who could teach him this thing, but might make him a feast. It was time to be strong, take a chance after all. Forever was such a long time to feel small. So he, made him, so he made himself brave and he felt like a winner. He set off for the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do, but if you want things to change, you first have to change you. The further he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Then at last, as he stood on his tippy toes, he found himself suddenly nose to Nose. Ahem, gulp, pardon me. Wake up, Mr. Lion, you've got company. Um, squeak, Mr. Lion, I've come to you for is squeak. Do you think you could teach me your roar? A silence befell that twinkling plane. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time slowed right down, why it felt like a week. Then he opened his mouth and let out an Eek. The lion was shaking, his paws all a fumble. He was backing away with a scrambling tumble. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, my goodness, this lion was frightened of mice. Don't worry, mouse peeped. I'm a friend, not a foe. Let's rock this together. We'll have fun, don't you know? 
That was a magical moment for sure. When Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore, he had found his true voice and learned to speak out. And for that, you don't need to roar or to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better. Now that rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Ha ha ha. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. So that was our book, The Lion Inside. And so now we're gonna to get to our fun snack for today. So what I'm going to do is move my computer down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's make sure that we all have our ingredients before we get started. Um, you want to have a navel orange. Um, it can be a whole one or already pre-cut. We have a banana, which you only really need a fourth of the banana. We'll set that there. We want to have some kick cereal or some type of cereal that looks similar. We have um, these some blueberries, whoops, some blueberries, as well as some slivered, slivered almonds. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to cut up our, um, our navel orange and banana. So I've already cut up uh, my navel orange to at least half. And so what I'm going to do then is um, we're going to slice it and so that's gonna be the lion head or the face. So on a stable surface with a knife, we wanna be careful and watch our fingers, but we're going to cut, we're going to cut a slice. There we go. We're gonna set that aside, set our leftovers aside. So it kind of looks like this. And then with our banana, what I'm going to do is just cut about a fourth because this is, the banana is gonna be our ears. So we're gonna set the leftover banana aside and we're gonna peel this. Set the peel aside. And then we're gonna do two slices, one and then two. And put our leftover banana over here. Okay. So if you do have a plate, you wanna get that out now because we're gonna start, gonna start making our lion. I'm gonna set the cutting board to the side as well. Okay. So on our plate, we're gonna put our navel orange. This is gonna be the face, the lion, like I said before. And so the first thing that we can do is put on our lion ears, which is our two bananas. Just so gonna set that there. And then for our eyes and nose, there are gonna be blueberries. So I'm gonna put two eyes below, below the banana. And then our nose will be right here. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, so the next thing, so we're gonna set this back aside for just a second. And then on our cutting board, we're going to take a blueberry and we're going to cut it in half like this and set our leftover aside. And then we're going to take the flat part, put it down on our cutting board and then we're gonna cut little slivers. And this is what's gonna make up our mouth. So we're gonna do three little slivers. And if you do have extra, a little bit of extra flesh, you can just kind of cut that out a little bit because we want, want our blueberry pieces to lay flat. All right, I'm gonna take the three pieces. I'm gonna bring back the plate and move aside the cutting board. Okay, so for, our, for our, um, three slices, so coming down from the nose, 
Actually, I'm gonna cut, cut this a little bit in half because our navel orange face isn't terribly big. So we're gonna put that so it comes down from the nose. And then we're gonna take the other two and create a smile. They're gonna create just another little sliver. So it matches the other side with the length. Okay. All right, so that's our mouth. And so what else does our lion need? Well, it needs whiskers, right? So this is where our slivered almonds come in. These are gonna be our whiskers and see here. We're gonna put those directly out from the nose. So I, you can either do two on either side or three. I'm gonna do three. You do the whisker, you get another three. One, two, three. All right, so we have our whiskers. So what else do you think that we're missing from the lion? What is something that makes a lion look like a lion? It's their mane, right? So the hair around their face. So that's where our kick cereal comes in. So let me put down my computer again. And what we're going to do is put kick cereal around, the, around our navel orange. And that's gonna look like our mane. Usually you can put about a cup around, but you could do less or more depending on how much, how much cereal you want. Once you have that, you can kind of Smush it up against the navel orange. I'm gonna put a little bit more on top. All right. So hopefully you can see that. I put up a little bit. So there we go. We have our lion with the ears, eyes, nose, whiskers, a little bit of a mouth, and then a mane around it with our navel orange as the face. So this is a real quick and easy snack. Um, it's a great mid-morning snack because like I said, it gives you energy, gives you a little bit of energy before lunchtime. So thank you everybody for joining me today. Don't forget that you, there's more mini chef, mini chef mornings on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11. We'll be doing a lot of fun snacks and um, I hope everybody is staying healthy and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you, see you next time.